And Madam President, I come to join my colleague from Florida, former governor, now U.S. Senator, and talk about the Save Democracy Act and the issues that are facing our nation today. And I want to do that because over the past several weeks, Democrats, the media, their corporate allies have been misleading the American people about our voting laws. Democrats have been pushing a false narrative all around the country, trying to scare Americans into pushing and pressuring Congress into passing a federal election takeover. Madam President, federal election laws and state election laws, as guided by our Constitution, say that it is states that should be making the decisions about how we run our elections at home. But what do you see coming out of the Democrats in their H.R. 1, then called S. 1, is a law that changes things dramatically and takes decisions out of the folks at home in Wyoming and puts them in the hands of folks in Washington, D.C. People of Wyoming, as I talked to them the last two weeks, don't want anything to do with that. Now, Democrats have this listed as their number one priority bill for the year. Otherwise, why would they have listed it as number one? Not coronavirus, not pandemic, not infrastructure. No, taking over elections away from the states, putting it in the hands of Washington. And the bill is over 800 pages long. Virtually every page would, I believe, make it easier to cheat. That's not what the American people want. They want to make it easier to vote and harder to cheat. The bill. H.R. 1, now S. 1, expands ballot harvesting, which is where paid political operatives, unsupervised, can go door to door, nursing home bed to nursing home bed, picking up people's ballots and deciding what ballots to turn in and which ballots to destroy. The bill would register people automatically when they sign up for Medicaid or assistance in other forms from the government. It would force taxpayers to fund political campaigns and political operatives. Paying for campaign ads, your tax dollars would go for that and things that candidates that you're not for, and you'd be paying for their ads and their computer time and their web pages and their yard signs. People in Wyoming don't want that. When I describe each one of these to the people of Wyoming, they say, don't let that happen to America. I think many Democrats haven't read the 800 pages, and I know if the American people read the 800 pages, they would be just as upset as the people are of Wyoming who have heard what is in the bill. The American people want security in elections. We want integrity, accountability, transparency at how it all works. And that's why I'm so proud to be here and supporting Senator Scott and co-sponsoring, along with Senator Hydesmith and Senator Lummis, a bill that gives confidence to people in elections. Because our bill, overall bill, bans voter harvesting. It says no to automatic registration. It requires at least a social security number to register to vote. Under our bill, you would still vote, could still vote by mail, as people have done year after year in Wyoming, done it very successfully. You just need to request a ballot so your information is up to date, and then you get the ballot in the mail. Basic common sense measures to protect against fraud and against error. So the differences between what we propose and what the Democrats propose could not be more clear. I believe the Democrat bill makes it easier to commit fraud. The Republican bill makes it harder to commit fraud. The Democrat were, bill were, were, were good. They wouldn't need to use scare tactics, which they have been using all across the country, wouldn't need to spread false information. So, Madam President, people of Wyoming tell me they want elections to be fair. They want it to be free from voter fraud. They want it to be easier to vote, as I said, harder to cheat and just basically using an identification card or a means to identify yourself when you go to vote would make common sense. It's what we do in Wyoming, and it should be continued to be allowed. So when someone shows up to vote, they can just confirm that they are who they say they are. 